Okay, it's day four of betting infinity pounds for every TikTok follower that I've got. Look, I've got to rush through these today because uh, in 10 minutes, I have got to go to a CrossFit class. I'm always late for this class. Lisa, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be recording videos at this time. That's what I'm doing. Instructions have already gone out to runners. Here's a summary of yesterday, minus 54% ROI. Oh no, we're gonna die because we've lost three days in a row. Bit of feedback from one particular new member. Uh, I have placed 130 bets, all plus EV, using the horse racing tracker, and I'm down. Is the tracker broke? The answer is yes, it is broke. The feed that goes from the tracker over to Royal Ascot that tells the horses to run faster is broken. I'm not going to do that. Any more commentary right now. We can talk about that another time. Betfred Shops and William Hill Shops and Exchange Bets for me today. Starting at Betfred Shops. Trixie. The Trixie, by the way, yesterday, I was 54% ROI down. I had a place, place. And if I'd got the third place in the 540 race, which was on at the same time as England and would have been a lot more fun to watch, that would have returned two thousand two hundred pounds and we'd be flying in profit just now yes i know if my auntie had balls she'd be my uncle but i'm just saying these are the fine margins that we're playing we had a number of other places at the same odds as that horse they just didn't fall into the same multiple starting at betfred with a trixie d flawless heaven's gate and saint Ar arvins over at market raisin there's the first one the second trixie and School days are over at 11 to 4 market raising, mixed in with a couple from Royal Ascot, Nocturnal and Party Central. And then two lucky 15s. The first one is Bellarchi, Ziggy, Master Richard and Harps Ferry. And the fourth, or the second lucky 15, the fourth bet at Betfred is Celtic Warrior, Chief Little Rock, Bagdoor and over at Newmarket in the 605. There's a short priced horse, Global Asset at seven to four, three places as value for that horse that I'm going to include in my lucky 15. Over at William Hill, mostly Royal Ascot horses here. We've got a Trixie, very 150 to one, Zan Jabila. I like the six places and make that horse value in the 505 to finish in six places. 540, Harps Ferry, 425, Tony Montana. That's a big one. That comes in because, of course, the Trixie needs two places. It's very unlikely. We're going for high risk, high reward. We are more likely to be down than up at this point. We're not going to die. The second one's going to be Nocturnal, Liberalised and James Webb over at Redcar. Then a lucky 15, All Royal Ascot, 100 to 1, Symbology, Belaki, Bagdor and JV. We are doubling up on a few horses now, but they are good value and shorter odds. So it's a good idea to do that. And the last one's going to be Asian Days, Dairahole? Nobody, Nobody knows. Nobody knows how to pronounce that horse. Heaven's Gate and Rockin' Rosa. Over on the exchanges, there was some value. Um, it is... Um, that's uh, football, so that's not going to help anyone. I think it's Ryan Moore to have two um, winners or more today. And the value actually isn't in the back today. It's in the lay. I can't get the stupid screen to flick over, so I can't confirm that. But... I did have the calculation up. Yeah, it was. It was Ryan Moore to have two or more um, winners. I don't make him value to back. I do make him value to lay, and I'm having him at 2.74. Here is the Sky Router. You have connection problems, connection diagnos diagnosis screen coming up. Tell you what, Sky, tell you what. It's going to move to 4G. That's what I've got to do. I've got to go to CrossFit, going to go and lift some heavy things. Good luck today, and we will be back tomorrow where we may or may not be betting even more.